right guys we're here with a happy mail yeah 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 it's well it's not craft related anyway but it's a happy mail mail time not happy mail mail time um and i'm not doing it i'm gonna hand you over to taylor because this is his spotlight now he's bought this himself with his own money um how much were it <laughs> um Eight. on the actual price tag at least from what I can understand of Japanese, it was somewhere around 200 to 300 pounds. Yeah, we didn't pay that, no, we paid. Luckily, I managed to get it off eBay for somewhere around uh, uh -huh. just below 90. Yeah, it was something like 87, 88 pounds, but he paid for it all with his own spending money and money from working at the bus on Saturdays. And yeah, and he's super excited and he's geeking out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm geeking out, I'm shivering. Yeah, he's. He's really excited but nervous and um, like I said he's geeking out a bit so this is very unusual because as I said it's nothing to do with craft or anything like that but Taylor just wants his you know time in his spotlight so I'm gonna hand you over to him and I'm gonna go in the kitchen and try and keep the cats quiet so over to Taylor hi guys this is me Taylor look at my hands <laughs> So anyways, today I actually got a figure from Japan, believe it or not. Well, actually, I just got it off eBay, which was relatively in good condition. Well, in a condition that was not used, so it's relatively new. And it is a wrong running masterpiece line. If any of you even know what I'm talking about, then clearly you've seen all the other reviews on YouTube these days. It is this. This figure. Now, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to be honest. I didn't think I was going to be owning this figure, like, ever. Because of how... Uh... Incredibly high-priced it was. But luckily, I managed to get off eBay, like I said before, for, like, somewhere around 80. So here it is, in all of its glory. As you can see. The figure on the front, along with the gun. One of the uh, masterpieces, one of the if not best ones on the list, in my opinion. And here we have the back of it, all in Japanese. I don't even understand that, but you can see it has some instructions as to what these accessories do, along with a figure that uh, was later down the line. And we have a bunch of other accessories. Figure, okay. So I actually have them all over here. I haven't actually took them out of the plastic yet, but I do have it over here. Come on. And here it is, in all of its glory. I'm a little annoyed that this leg is like this, but it's been like that for other reviewers too. And oh god, I have no idea how to explain how I'm feeling right now. But I am feeling like my childhood is coming all back to me, and I feel like a kid again. So here it is. Well, don't, on, don't do it yet. Here it is, in its casing, as you can see, along with the gun. Well, so it's a cannon. And I'm just about to unbox it. Here we go. There we go. Figure right here. I'm going to take the gun out first. Now, for the record, I do know what this gun mode... Well, cannon, should I say. I know what this does, but unfortunately, I do not have any of the batteries for it. They're not like double A's or anything like that. They're LR44s, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't think they're cheap, and I think they're kind of a hassle to put in, but here it is. As you can see here, really well crafted, just like the show. That bit extends up from what I remember. Yep. Now, what this is supposed to do, this button is supposed to play sounds, but as you can tell, the batteries aren't actually included in this figure. But what it's supposed to do is that the first set makes some gun sounds. Then you push this button back once, I think. No. Nope. Like that. Well, it's supposed to click in. There. It's supposed to click it in once, and it, and it gives off some voice lines, I think. And these voice lines are all Japanese. I don't understand them, but they are kind of hilarious to listen to. Especially if uh, you actually understand what they are. I mean, it would have been better if it was actually the actual voice from the actual character in the English one, but can't have everything. I mean, it's Japan exclusive. 
And if you press this first one, it makes the transformation sounds. So that's cool. So I'm just going to leave this down here for later. Because here we have the robot himself, Megatron. And he is actually pretty heavy. I'm not going to lie. You know, I used to have a figure, well, really small, should I say, but never to this extent, such detail. You can see he's facing all of his glory. The symbol on here, well, it's the cartoon symbol. And, uh, God, the detailing on this is amazing. It even has the, it even has the gun on the back. And yes, it has back kibble. I know that's a bit annoying, but... It's just kind of how it is with this figure. I mean, Takara so far hasn't really gotten around to that bit, but it's better than nothing. Now let me just get this leg back into position. Oh. And of course, it has ratchet joints, which is nice. Now, from what I can tell, most of the figures on this part, from what my resources tell me on YouTube, is that most of these is made of die-cast metal. And, oops, stop. Alright, I'm going to put him down now because he is a little bit heavy. So I'm just going to send him down here. Oh. You can't really see it on camera. Uh, Actually, hold on. Can I adjust the camera? Okay. Let me try and get this down a little bit here. Make it look like all those other review channels. As soon as I figure out how. Give me a moment. I'm trying to angle it a bit better. Okay. Hmm. Wait a minute. Pause it first. Okay, give us a moment. And we are back. Unfortunately, the stand that my mom uses doesn't actually have a good angle on this, so it's just about as good as she's gonna get. Mom's actually holding this phone. Say hi. Hi. So she's gonna be holding this phone, and I'm gonna be uh, taking a look at the details on this figure. Now, from what I can tell. Most of these are definitely ratchet jointed. Most of them are actually pretty sturdy from what I can tell. Ooh, that feels satisfying. And the poses you can actually make with this figure are actually even more satisfying too. And of course the head is a bit stiff. But it can swivel a little bit. I'm not good as a, as a YouTuber when it comes to swivels. But from what I can tell it is very satisfying. And there is a lot of detailing on this figure. You see all the bits and details. Of course, maybe most of it isn't exactly accurate to the show. But it is most definitely satisfying to hold and to look at. Now, I do actually have some accessories back here, which I actually haven't gotten out of plastic yet. But they are right here. Can we get a view on them? Alright, I'll take over for a moment. Here they are. Here we have some of the figures from the show and the movie. Small yeah, sorry. Here we have some of the accessories from the movie and the uh, and the TV show, as you can tell. We have so the ball and chain from that one episode, and we even have this that we even have this pulsable chain that's going to come in use later. We have the control helmet or clone control helmet from that one episode. We have the Segma key. I haven't watched the episode, so I don't know exactly what that does. But I know that's important. Then we have the silencer here. That's mainly for the gun mode. And here we have the stand slash stock for the back of the gun. Now, these figures here... Well, these things here are the faces. Here is his gr maniacal grin. He's angry, and that one scene from the movie. We all know that one. We also have the saber from the movie. We have a battle we have a battle damage chest plate, which also comes part of this figure. And the gun. All of this is gonna be useful. So in a minute, because I'm about to show you. So I'm just gonna Am I holding it or do you wanna put it back in the stand? No, you can put it back in the stand. Okay, one second. Okay, give us a moment. Okay, we're back. So I had to sort the camera back into the thing it was before. I just had to deal with a couple of things. My mom helped me out with getting some more details in. Thanks, mom. You're welcome. She's just in the back helping out with Kit. Making sure he doesn't ruin the whole recording. So, uh, yeah, I know he does, but I'm making a review on here. So uh, let's start off with the ball and chain. 
Now, it's pretty simple what this is. It's ball and chain. Pretty self-explanatory. It's from that one episode during season one when they were fighting on the bridge. Or dam. I didn't watch that episode very much, but... Yeah, it's just a ball and chain. There's not really much to do with it. But from what I can tell, this bit comes off so that you can add this posable chain onto it. Now, where's the socket? Here it is. So, you can add a lot of posability with this. Hinge joint, hinge joint, another hinge joint, and of course, a swivel. So yeah, that clips onto the hand of this guy, which uh, I might as well do in a minute later. But for now, I'm not going to even try to because I'm afraid I might break it, but I'll do that later. Uh, here we have is the control helmet from that one episode we made a clone of Optimus Prime. Remember that one? Of course you don't. That's why I'm going to leave it there. Then we have the... Very stubborn key that won't get out of the plastic. Yeah, we'll just leave it in there. That key's not really important anyway. It's the segment key. I'll give you a shot of it when I figure out how to get it out. Oh. As my mom gives me some advice, it turns out I need to pop it out of the thing. So here you go is the key. From what I can tell, it's die cast metal. Really nice, but uh, from what I can tell, not really... It's die cast metal. It may look like plastic, but you can feel the weight in it. Feel the weight. Go on. Feel the weight. Yeah. Cool. Most of the figure is made out of die cast metal, which makes it poseable, which is what the car does with a lot of things. You can tell when parts are metal by feeling it with a cold touch technique. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that's what makes this figure so sturdy, although yeah. we're not too sure if this is metal. Ooh, but for one... It... Ooh, yeah. yeah, it's pretty heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, here's the key... The Victor Sigma key, I think. Well, I never really watched the episode, so I don't really care. So, I'm going to place that down. And here we have is the silencer for the gun mode. Now, there is another practical use for this thing, but I don't think I'm going to have the time nor effort to even stack that up. Unless I want to do another video on it. So, I will just put that to the side for now. And here we have is the stock, which fits on the back of the thing. As you can tell, this bank also has a ratchet joint, oh, which is mainly stone. for the... Yeah, that's mainly used for the... Yeah, that's also used for, like, uh, posability, mm -hmm. which it, which turns out you can actually use this to clip onto Megatron's butt over here <laughs> to actually make him look like he's flying within the show to have more posability in that one scene where he's using that sword. Which also combines with this stand to add a gun battle station thingy. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> here, here, here. <laughs> Just be careful with it. That thing cost me like 80 bucks. Okay. I didn't say I, didn't say, can I use it as a selfie stick. I said kind of like a selfie stick. Oh, well, it doesn't actually do that. But <laughs> I wish it would. But I think that would be too much. Can I use it as a selfie stick? So anyways, I'm going to leave that stand up over there. Now, let's see what else we got here. We have the gun, which sadly did kill Optimus Prime in the movie. But it was definitely, but this is a definitely an important piece for that one pose, which I will try and do later. Well, off camera, of course. And uh, here we have the, pop it out of the plastic there. Here we have the saber, which kind of came out of nowhere from the movie along with the gun as well. As you can see, very detailed. Now you can actually just uh, plop this bit out. I said plop this bit out. Well, from what I can tell, you can definitely take this bit out and actually plug it into that gun to add a uh, gun effect. But from what I can tell, this was definitely used in the movie. Here, you can try and unplug it. It's a bit stuck in there. Who knows, maybe it might have been super glued. I don't know. No, I'm not touching it because I'm not being <laughs> spelled responsible for breaking it. Yeah, it's my toy. Anyways, I'm going to leave that there for a moment because I want to check out the faces. Here is the maniacal grin. I really like this one. From what I could tell, everyone loves this guy's face. So I'm going to leave that there. Then we have the angry face, which is definitely going to be me after transforming this guy because it takes forever, from what I can tell. And here we have my personal favorite, the battle damage face from that one scene in the movie. As you can tell, incredibly detailed. 
even down to the crack on his head, which I did do a drawing of. I wish I could show you that, but that'd be wasting my time and probably yours. And here we have the last thing on here is the battle damage chest plate. As you can see, very detailed. It's hard to see, but that's right there. It's, it's not time the lighting's a bit poor. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But it's actually not that really detailed mm. with the with the symbol because the symbol's all busted up and whatnot. That's why you can't focus on it. But anyways, that's all of the accessories out of the way. Let me just plop the plastic over there. And here we have the entire setup. So, anyways, I wanted to see if... Okay, and then exactly read the instruction manual. I actually do have it with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get the instruction manual. I have, yeah, I never posed a figure this size before or ever. So, it's kind of difficult for me to... Yeah, just stare at the camera. Stare at the camera. <laughs> Alright, anyways, here we have is the instruction manual, which I am definitely not going to read for my own sanity's sake, because I know how ridiculously long and pretty much hard to understand for me, at least, to read. So I'm just going to leave that there. It's in Japanese, isn't it? Yeah, but the instructions are definitely pictures, but I'm not going right. to understand that. I'm just going to watch toy reviewers. They do it better. And here we have is a card, which is kind of pointless, in my opinion. But it's definitely about the figure... Got some stats on the back, along with information is in Japanese, I don't understand that. Here's the stats right here. Sorry if I'm not holding this correctly, but there you go. It's already focused in. It's, there you go. And along with the figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the figure, there's some details. Um, robot mode and then some information. But this card is kind of pointless in my opinion i mean not the takara told me for obvious reasons but to me most definitely pointless so anyways here's the figure again now here's what i want to try the one i can tell from my sources oh yeah he can look that far <laughs> say hi to the camera back john he looks menacing down there all right time to remove that menacing face because this may pops off and actually, there is actually some interesting detail, because if you look close at this face, sorry, lighting's terrible. But if you look at this face closely, it's oh, actually, yeah, this is, act. if you don't know, this is actually from the movie when he's being Tilt rebuilt. Tilt it back a bit, that's it. If you don't know, this face was actually shown in the movie when he was being rebuilt. You know, the cool sci-fi scene that was totally awesome and was voiced by Orson Welles, my favorite guy. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have the Unicorn toy. As much as I would want it, it costs too much and is way too big for this house. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just going to pop on this maniacal fake. Don't, don't fall. Like I said, I never posed a figure of the size before. So let me just uh, twist. No, 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 no. Diecast metal. Don't fail me now. There you go. There you go. And here we have is his... Maniacal face. <laughs> it looks menacing down there. <laughs> well, anyways, there you go. Oh, ratchet joints. Beautiful. That sounds satisfying. Oh, it does tell me about it. Now, here we have is these fingers. Um, it's kind of stiff to open them, but these fingers are on a hinge joint. The thumb is on one hinge joint. <laughs> Uh, the three fingers here are all on a hinge joint, as you can tell. The palm is on a hinge joint, along with a bend in the knuckle. This open hand allows you to clip in whatever weapon or other item that has a clip in of your choice. Such as the saber from the movie. So let me just... um. It's my first time handling the figure, guys. Calm down. So we can just, how do you clip it in? So you can clip it in like so, wrap it around the thing, just like the movie. And there you go. He's holding the saber, just like in the movie. You know, when he was murdering Optimus Prime, that was always a fun scene to watch. But yeah. 
You never watched the movie. You don't know what I'm talking about. It ruins everyone's child's dreams. Well, according to some reports, I think we all know why. Um, I really do. I really do believe you can actually take this piece out and actually stick it onto this gun. But from what I can tell, it's just too stiff. So I'm. If if you want confirmation to which movie I'm talking about, I'm talking about Transformers D movie from 1986. Oh, okay. Yeah, the original that was literally a big toy commercial that ended with Orson Welles' career. <laughs> yeah, it's not Fall Side. It's not Revenge of the Fall one. As much as people hate this film, I love its action. You can't change your opinion no matter how many times you tell it. So anyways, uh, hands on the hinge joint as well. Some pieces move out the way. Oh yeah, I think his hand can retract, so let me just uh, move his bits here. Oh, wait, hang on. You're supposed to do it in a very specific order. Like so. No. Okay, this is going to take me a while. This is my first time ever doing a review. Cut me some slack, guys. You're supposed to put his hands and fingers in a very specific order, that way he's... Uh, he's oh yeah you gotta twist the hand as well like so that way you can I I swear this is only I swear this doesn't happen to me guys but I do remember his hand I do remember uh, um... okay give me a moment okay I'm back I figured out how it works what you're supposed to, sorry, sorry if I was loud, but what you're supposed to do is slide this hand off, not retract it down. That's more of the, for the transformation. I'll have to try and figure that out later. Just mom. So anyways, from what I can tell from my sources. Oh, yeah. So put that down. He's missing a hand, but don't worry. Uh, just... You gotta unclip that. That also removes from the regular chain. This clips onto here. Like so. That means you can slide it on his arm. There you go. Now let me just get him in a suitable pose. Uh, <laughs> you can tell I've never... You can tell I'd never posed a figure before. Yuck. Okay. You can tell I'd never posed a figure of this size before. Well, from what I can tell, you can get him into some poses to make it look like he's swinging his chain. That's about as good as we're going to get, aren't we? <laughs> but yeah, you can do it just like that. I don't know how that got... I'm probably the worst reviewer in toy history right now. I mean, I guess you're right. Better start somewhere, indeed. So, uh, anyways... Oh yeah, that's also on a little swirl. Yeah. I'm doing a terrible job for y'all guys. Mom usually does like, we like does really good stuff, like as in like makes good craft stuff, and I'm doing a terrible review on a toy. But anyways, there's those pieces there. Let me clip his hand back on his wrist. That's the wrong way. There you go. Now let me just get his. Oh shoulder back into position there you go now he's back to his regular menacing look so let me just take that face off of his and add on the battle damage face because that's always a favorite in the movie and then i'm just gonna okay let me get up for this bit now what you're gonna do with this is twist it like so and then the whole bit clips off i think no wait hang on i'm doing it wrong the whole bit just slides come 
completely off. You gotta do it at an angle of sorts. <sighs> there you go. Even more attention to detail from the movie, as you can tell. And that means you can add... That means you can add... <laughs> That means you can add on this. Get in. This. Get on you stupid piece. That means you can clip on this. Give me a moment. Hi guys. For what feels like an hour, I finally got the piece on. It's a little stubborn since it's a new piece, but I managed to finally get it on, as you can see, in all of its glory. I mean, it was more of a pain than I might have imagined, believe me. But after a while, you actually get the piece in. So let me just um, put an angle between that. And just take that off and put the actual normal one back on, because that was a pain to put on. <laughs> totally not worth it for that bit, I'm going to be completely honest. Like, was it worth it? No, not really, but... There you go. I'm just going to put down the angry face now because that's the last face we got on the list and it's pretty much just how I'm feeling. Yeah. There you go. Megatron, I feel your pain, dude. I feel it. But anyways, toy, absolutely fantastic to play with, I'm going to be honest. And I almost forgot. I almost forgot to include this. Well, actually, first, let's put on the control helmet. Does it fit snug? Yes, it does. It fits snug, and it actually clips in, believe it or not, to the bucket head that is on his head. And now, let's... Let's actually ratchet joint his whole legs forward for a bit. And let's move his arm out. Because it's time to put on the big guns. There's a specific way to do this. Ah. And then it just clicks on like so. There you have it. In all of his glory, finally. Here we have the Megatron. In all of his evilish glory. Oh god, don't tumble over, please. <laughs> Not when we're so close to the end. There you go. There you have him with his uh, cannon. I mean, it's a big cannon, but it definitely was that big in the show, I'll tell you that. Now, from what I can tell, like I already said before, this thing is supposed to have two R44 batteries, but as you can see, I don't have them. So, Having this thing on him is kind of pointless, but it is there just to complete the look. And what a look it is. So there you have it. I'm going to, and just to let you know, I am not, I am definitely not transforming this on screen. Do you have any idea how painful it is just to transform this thing? Well, on, off camera it's going to be fine, but on camera it's a nightmare. I should know. Well, everyone in the community should know that. So, as much as I would like to do it, I'm sorry, but I just can't. But, as for Mom and her fans, I am glad to say that my first ever review of a toy of the size is still bad. But it's better than nothing, right? So, without further ado, let's just make sure he's in a big, open welcoming hug hug i think that's a good send off if i say so myself <laughs> well anyways that's the best that i can do for this review i know it isn't the best but uh, hopefully i'll get better in the future but as always i'm gonna take this over to mom now so that she can end this video because i have nothing else to say so take away well, there you go, guys. I've no idea how long this will be. I've got to splice it all together, but... Probably half an hour. Maybe. But, what do you think? For a first-time toy review? And I think that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. And I think you did an amazing job.
so stop putting yourself down everybody's got to start somewhere my videos weren't always well i would say as good as they are now <laughs> but i still don't see them as being good you yeah. know it's better than so, nothing but you know even the professionals started from nothing like this so yeah have some faith in yourself okay blah, blah, blah. Yeah. okay guys so there you go i well we will love you and leave you guys and yeah so from myself and taylor hi <laughs> bye <laughs> um thank you so so much for watching um yeah please leave your comments and everything down below be nice um yeah Cri um, constructive criticism welcome but nastiness is not um but yeah so anyway thanks for watching guys take care stay safe and we will see you all again very soon bye bye <laughs>